Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how we can put holes into a board. The holes are the kind that will not go all the way through. They'll be about one half inch diameter and one half inch depth. First, use your Q key to bring up your options. And I just want to point out down here at the bottom of the grid tab, I have display CS checked. That allows us to see this little XYZ symbol over here. This board I've pre-set up is three quarters inch thick. What we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing a line. And I'm going to set the color to green. Okay, once again, draw a line. Then draw it again from here to the corner down here. We're going to use this to locate where we want to put the circle on the surface. So now let's select this top line. We'll get it at the corner there. Let's say we want to move it down as our guideline uh, three and a half inches. So we'll use move and we'll use the apostrophe to get us relative motion and we'll move it down three and a half inches in relationship to a reference point which will be the same as our starting point right here okay now we'll do the same thing with the second line We're going to move this one, let's say we'll move it over four inches over to the left, which is the anti-x direction. Once again, the relative motion, and we'll make it minus four inches in relationship to the reference point, which will be up here in the same corner. Okay, now we're ready to start drawing our cylinders. So if we start the cylinder tool, we'll go over and we're going to use an intersection snap. And we'll pick right here as our starting point. We said that we're going to make this a half inch uh, thick or a half inch dia diameter. Once again, we use our relative motion. This time we use the last point option. And we'll just put it off. If it's going to be a half inch, we could divide it by two right there now all we have to do is set our Z depth you can see looking at our CSR over in the corner that to set the depth we need to go in the Z direction a positive unit once again our relative motion is our friend we'll say we'll go part way into the board we'll go a half inch into the three-quarter inch board and once again it's in relationship to the last point and there we have it let's say we want to draw a series of these maybe two inches apart let's zoom in on this Z is the zoom key and we'll start an array and we'll say four columns because we're going to do just four items and once again it's going to be in the anti-x direction once again pick a relative tool pick minus two inches reference point and go right on top of where we started I'm going to back out and there we have uh, our four plugs that will become our holes in a moment. So we can now use Control J. I'm just going to click off there. Control J to start adding these together. That one, that one. Do it again, that one. 
that one. That one and that one. Okay, these are all now one object. As you can see, just by clicking on one of them, it highlights them all. And we can use Control U to subtract the holes from the board. And to see this, we can render. We'll turn on graphics acceleration. We'll just do a quick, a quick render. And you can see we have some holes that are in the board. They don't go quite all the way through. And I'll see if I can turn this. I'll move the perspective tool down here. Use the camera angle again. OK. You can see. The holes don't go all the way through. We can clean up by deleting our two lines. Zoom in, you can see the hole there. And that's all there is to it.